Greetings everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel Alex here and it has been some time since my last video Well a lot of things happening nowadays first of all I do have a new flatmate I will talk about this in another video and secondly thank you very much ladies and gents for your kind words on social media because of my surgery my nose is like new basically i can breathe well at night and i don't have to put those nasal decongestant it's still a couple of weeks until um, it will be fully recovered but uh, yeah we're on the right track so let's get straight to the subject ladies and gents what is next there's a question from one of my subscribers obviously um hey alex big fan can you please make a video on the jobs you can do after being a cabin crew as you always say uh, you will be doing it like two three years more so what will you do after that and please don't mention my name okay don't worry i will not mention your name um so guys the job of cabin crew is obviously very rewarding you get to travel so many different places meet so many people you know earn a good paycheck live in an amazing city an amazing place right a place that actually everybody wants to move in but eventually people do move on away from this job why because it's not an easy job long term especially when it comes to you know resting and family and so on and so forth the things that i talk about so much on my uh, youtube channel one of the most important things no matter your job guys is to grow grow yourself professionally grow uh, yourself you know educate yourself as much as possible and when i say education i don't mean college and degrees and stuff i mean self educate yourself on different topics in life that you're interested in so you can actually profit and get some money out of it at a certain point in your life i think that's very important so basically don't be a lazy ass <laughs> That's what I want to say to you guys. Don't be lazy. Um, you know, do the work um, constantly. Do something extra. Do something more than your job. So, therefore, when you finish your main job, your main gig, the main source of income, then you'll have other opportunities to uh, continue, to follow up on that path of uh, brilliance, right? So, rationally speaking, let's explore some options, ladies and gents. The first option would be to remain in the company. Let's say you work for Etihad as a cabin crew, you will remain in the company on a different position. You can work ground stuff, you can work in the office, at HQ, you know, uh, you can work as a trainer, you can work as a recruiter. There's so many things uh, within the company uh, that you can actually um, be in and be a part of continuously, you know, after the job of cabin crew. Now, how can you make that happen? Well, you must be a crew for a certain amount of time, you know, a certain amount of years you need maybe some teaching experience or some experience in other regards you know office skills and so on and so forth and you need to apply for these jobs within the company right we have our own uh, procedures here for example but that's applicable to any company to any airline you know emirates uh, ryanair um, american airlines you name it so you can do that in the same company right you can expand your horizons within the same company now number two ladies and gents number two after the job of cabin crew would be open a business this is something that so many cabin crew uh, after they finish the job they go back to their own countries right as presumably they come here in uae they work for a number of years they raise some money um, and then they go back to their countries they open up a nice prolific business something that probably they're interested in something that they must be good at. Yeah, I know cases of cabin crew that they have a very good business back home. And they started even at the same time as they were cabin crew. And let's mention another point here. Ladies and gents, there's so many things you can do online nowadays. So many uh, businesses that you can actually work on online. You can earn money online nowadays. So that's a very good option after the job of cabin crew. You know, many people say many times, follow your passion. I would make an asterisk here it's not always true guys if sometimes you have to make personal sacrifices for growth to happen then you know you must go to other areas maybe you're not so passionate about but in the end of the day you will earn some good uh, money you know you you can be able to support your family and so on and so forth so that's another good point all right number three ladies and gents number three and obviously we had to go here we had to come up to this subject you can expand your horizons once more you can become a pilot and when i say this when i say this um it's not a straight 
path towards that but I do have friends many of them they came here they worked for maybe three years they just raised enough money maybe they made the loan as well or something and they applied to become a pilot and they made it and now they're actually flying yes sure some of them they don't find immediately uh, pilot jobs but that take, takes time effort sometimes luck so there's many factors contributing to that but uh, yeah after the job of cabin crew you can become a pilot definitely now number four ladies and gents we're going back to the business side here because number four is all about investments being able to have an investment being able to profit off an investment presumably if you made very good decisions while you were working in your cabin crew job there are many people they own a property they collect rent there are some people they have multiple properties and they have an airbnb there is people with a bit of crypto myself included being able to trade being able to buy and hold crypto long term those are some very wise decisions that can actually help you at a certain point so i would definitely put this a number four a strong one it's not really a job but it is something that you can uh, gain from now number five on the list I would say it's something that probably I will end up doing why because uh, we have a family business back home doing the same thing it is the job of a travel agent we actually have a travel agency back home with my family it's uh, going very well at the moment something that I'm really grateful for so I guess one of the long-term plans that I have after this job is to um, go back home and uh, participate in the family business, take care of the family business. Um, and I would say that's also a good opportunity for cabin crews in general. They can also apply, they can always apply for traveling related jobs. Indeed. Number six on the list. Um, I would say it's the same kind of area right as a cabin crew but it's not on the plane it's on the ship and yes indeed i do mean here cruise ships ladies and gents it's another awesome job you can travel so much there is so many countries you can visit it's a yeah it's a service job as well it's a food and beverage job as well um, but although a cruise ship has many 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 positions within so you can become a manager you can become you know there's a lot of things that you can become within on that cruise ship so it is a good job there's uh, some people I know in the industry they earn a very very good paycheck working on a cruise ship yes maybe nowadays is not as prolific as before of COVID but you know the market it's always ups and downs um, if you don't have seasickness I think it's a good option actually so you should definitely check that out now number seven on the list and i didn't think we we're gonna reach seven points but here we are here we are ladies and gents number seven on the list is hr and pr what do i mean by that human resources public relations this is an area in which um i would say cabin crew they're most most prolific at they're the best at why because we always interact with uh, a lot of people so we have those skills within customer service we have a lot of customer service experience and it really means a lot when dealing even with uh, employees right as a uh, hr manager let's say or as a hr assistant as a person in the office that has to send a lot of emails and have to communicate all the time with uh, with people within the company i would say that's a very good job for um, previous cabin crews it's a job to look forward to and obviously a more peaceful job after all the traveling you've done as a cabin crew <laughs> um, so yeah here you are ladies and gents seven things that you can do after the job of cabin crew now it is not easy uh, everybody's road is different and leads to a different destination so obviously what's applicable to one person it may not be applicable to another person but uh, yeah there's a lot of opportunity out there and all you need to do is keep your eyes open you know and your mind sharp and that's it now i will end the video here if you have any questions or if you want to leave a comment please write that down below and don't forget to leave a like for the algorithm subscribe to my youtube channel as well if you're not subscribed yet ladies and gents until next time see you